day 15. Day 15 and today I am setting myself a challenge. I've got to make our wreath for our door because we haven't got one. We haven't got one up, which is terrible. So um, I have got some branches from the Christmas tree because we had to cut some of the branches off um, to fit it in the pot. So we cut some of the branches off and um, I'm going to use them and I'm going to tie them round to make um, a circle. And then I've got some holly and I'm going to weave stuff in, make it look nice. And I've also got, do you remember we made the um, sparkly pine cones way back, I can't even remember what day, but back some days ago we made sparkly pine cones. I'm going to use them in my wreath. Um, so that will look really pretty, I think, really sparkly. And I think I might even, because we've got a porch, so it won't get wet, I might even put some lights in there. So I might even have a lit up wreath. But when I get it done, I promise to share a picture. Hopefully it'll be today, but if it's not today, when I've done it, I'll share a picture. Um, and today I'm saying hello to Archie and Oliver. Hello, nice to see you. Um, what's left to do? But another day, another door. Are you ready? Are you steady? open it up and it's this wonderful reindeer bag isn't it lovely it's Rudolph so I'm going to show you how to make it now this is an idea from Mrs Jones's creation station and to start with you just need a brown paper bag and what I've done is I have cut here I've drawn on some um, antler shapes um, so what I'll do, I'm going to go over it now so you can see, so this is just very rough, so I've got my antler shapes there, you can see that there, and I'm going to fold my bag in half and I'm just going to cut along one of them, la, 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 la. and remember what we say about scissors. Oh, I know what I forgot to say. Ah, look, it's the hat we made yesterday. Um, I forgot to say as well that you can decorate it, you don't have to decorate it with stickers, you can decorate it with anything. You, if you've got buttons, if you've got beads, if you've got glitter, if you, whatever you've got, little scraps of fabric, you can just put anything on there. Um, so that was that was yesterday anyway. Right, so we've got our bag and we've got this shape cut out now. And then very simply, we're going to need red circle. Can you guess what that is? Yes. Of course you can. It's a nose. So we've got Rudolph's nose. Then we need two white circles and two smaller black circles, which make up Rudolph's eyes. So I'm just gonna stick those on, and they're obviously just gonna go a little bit above. Let me see, I've got some glue on now. Yeah, look. So they're gonna go one there, and one on the other side, like that. So he's got a lovely face. Uh, but he's missing something. What do you think he's missing? He's got eyes, he's got a nose, he's got antlers. He's missing a mouth. So I'm going to draw him one on. Let's see, this is going to be tricky, isn't it? So, wiggly line. There we go. So he's got a nice mouth there. And then um, I thought that. To make a little carry handle, if you wanted to, you could always staple a little piece of ribbon onto the sides of your little carry handle there. But make sure that you don't staple the two sides together or you won't be able to get anything in your bag. So there you go. This is Rudolph, a Rudolph, nice Rudolph bag, and you could give them little presents in there and to your friends or whatever you wanted to do with them. That's it from me today. 
See you tomorrow.